Hey guys, uh, I've been gone a while. Now I'm back. I'm back because I've got a couple of things to show you. Three things to be exact, so keep an eye out on the next videos. So let's start. What have we got? We've got the Rambo Last Blood. The Mark 8 by Dietmar Hall. Dietmar, Dietmar, you decide. <laughs> but yeah, it's a Rambo knife from the Last Blood movie. It's really, really cool. It's the Mark 8. It's awesome. Let's have a quick look. So, we've got a faux leather sheath in black, quite nice, suits the handle. A little clip, pop it open. What else have we got? We've got a nice paracord sort of handle gripper that you can use around your wrist, like so. <laughs> pop it around your wrist. Got a good grip, won't lose grip. Won't sort of drop it, throw it, whatever. Keep it around your wrist. Let's have a proper look. This is a beautiful knife. So it's got a black hardwood handle, as you can see, with really nice intricate design pins. It's got full tang, five mil thick, and then sort of a nice hilt design handle to keep a nice grip so you don't run your fingers up the blade. Quite nice, really pretty. I'll just take my hand out of of the old paracord here, which is quite difficult without stabbing myself because I do that multiple times every time I do a knife review. Every time I do a knife review, stab myself. Fingers slice, whatever. <laughs> They're not dangerous though. <laughs> they usually just go in your cabinet. Like this. So overall, so Dick my Paul, Dick my Paul, that Paul guy made this Mark Eight. He made it for. The Last Blood movie, it was in there, 2019, if you've seen it, you'll have seen this knife. He also did the Mark 9, which you will see in another video. Next video, keep your eye out. So the total length is 14 inches. That's 35.5 centimetres for people who hate inches. Don't know why, inches are cool, leave them alone. But if you don't like them, 35.56 centimetres. The blade length is 8 inches. And again, for them people, that's 20.3 centimetres. <laughs> because, you know, fuck inches, why not? And then the thickness is 5 millimetres. What's that in inches? I don't know. Do the math. I'm not a geography teacher. The weight is 492 grams. That's one pound, one ounce for those that hate grams. Can't imagine there's going to be a lot of people that hate grams. Whatever, that's one pound, one ounce. It's quite heavy. It's a weighty blade. Like I said, full tang 5 millimetre with the black hardwood handle. It's sharp. It came sharp. It's stupidly sharp. I'm just gonna grab something to show you how sharp this thing is. A piece of cardboard. <laughs> yes, that's sharp. That is easily slicing cardboard. It's, uh, it, let's, let's be fair, if you're, if, if you're a fan of the movies, you want the knives, you put them in a display cabinet, you're highly unlikely to use it. But if you wanted to, you could, because it's usable. It's really pretty as well. So you've got this sort of satin effect on the blade. And then on, sort of, the point there. And then like a little sort of cut out with a satin effect. Like I said, decorative, really nice pins on the hardwood handle. And then this fella here, so you don't... Like I said, you're unlikely to use it, but it is pretty. And you could, if you wanted to. So you'd pop it in a cabinet. It's basically everything I've got to know about it. Right now it's on sale at Knife Warehouse. It might not always be, but as of this video it is. The link's in the description. Have a look. But overall, a really cool knife from the movie. They also have the Mark 9. Also a really cool knife from the movie. Get them both together, why not? Links in the description. So, keep an eye out for further videos. As always, hope you uh, enjoyed. Hope it was informative. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff. Put the bell on, notifications, and never upload, whatever. Uh, yeah. Hope you have a good Christmas. Peace out.